<laughs> Darn hot. as Don George. Don George and his gang, the Scooters. See that jungle gym over there? Surely you see it, it's right there. That is scooter territory. <laughs> They're self-proclaimed part of the playground. If you want to use the monkey bars, better have blonde hair, blue eyes, and loose morals. <laughs> so there, <laughs> Barry Bob the swing set, that's Barracuda territory, okay? Champ Rodriguez, the Barracudas. Don't look them in the eyes, they might bite you. The barracudas and the scooters want one thing, control of the playground. They will stop at nothing to be on top, okay? They've had a beef since as long as I can remember. Yeah, that's right, kindergarten. And the one caught in the middle of it all? Me, Jimmy Masterson, private hall monitor. The real power of the playground belongs to Prince Attention Strickland. Attention students, this is Principal Strickland. There will be no more kickball at lunch. In fact, there will be no basketball, volleyball, or tennis ball either. I will be withholding all your balls in my office. <laughs> As a reminder, there is a mandatory rice check at recess tomorrow. No playtime, just checking for maggots in your tiny little scalps. As a result, the playground will be closed tomorrow, because I said so. And remember, children, you are all losers. That is all. What a buzzkill. But ain't got no respect from anyone around here. Sweet little thing, though. She's got a heart of gold. Hey, Roxy. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, uh, so what seems to be the problem here? Problem? I don't got a problem. You got a problem, Chip? I got one less problem without you. Then why were you fighting? When were we fighting? Just now. We weren't fighting. Yeah. We were just humping the shit out of each other on the blacktop. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you know I hate doing this, but, oh, you know, here we go. there are rules, and rules have to be followed for, for the greater good of the playground, we know. know. Roxy had a certain sparkle in her eye when she wrote kids up for detention, but that sparkle was not from bliss, okay? It was the tears she was holding back. If only the gangs took the time to get to know her or, or become her friend, you know? But there are some storms we cannot weather and some dreams that cannot be. <laughs> well, I'll see you all in detention this afternoon. Oh, fuck. Goodbye, Jimmy. <laughs> see you later, Roxy. All right, you dirty, rotten scoundrels. Beat it. <laughs> Aracudas, gather round. Look, we fought long and hard for this turf, and we ain't gonna give it up, you dig? Hey, hey, easy, okay? We're gonna settle this the only way we know how. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna rumble. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It's fucking rumble. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Easy, Donnie. <laughs> 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 
first we gotta set up the war council with the scooters. The war council? Yeah, war council. Ooh, fucking love war council. <laughs> Let's just beat the shit out of them. Get in there. What a boy shouldn't be having war council. It's just a hunk of black talk. It's more than that. It's all we have. It's all we know. What should be the grounds? Water balloons. Let's call them mean names. Nah, you gotta think bigger. Let's, uh, let's, oh, let's egg them. A water balloon. Nerf gun. Wow, let's fucking chop their balls off. <laughs>
Vicky St. James, the baddest broad on the playground. We used to be going steady back in the second grade. We used to share lunch bowls together. I'd bring the barbecue shake-ups <laughs> together. It was paradise. No, Vic, no. I'm not going to let you come in here and give me the run around again just so you could build me up, Buttercup, and leave me high and dry. No, I'm sorry, Vicky. I'm a changed man. Jimmy, you know I'm not here for that. I'm... I'm scared, Jimmy. I need your help. Vicky St. James needs my help. You gotta be honest, Vic. I never thought I'd hear those words coming out of your mouth. Well, what'd you think they come out of, huh? My belly button? What do you want, Vic? <laughs> the playground, Jimmy. It's in trouble. Ha! <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. But what's it to me? I don't give a rat's nose about that blacktop brawling. No! I'm in big trouble. I heard a rumor that someone's trying to give the playground a big sleep. You know me. Yes. Destroy the playground. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Not the playground! The place I call my home since I was in kindergarten! The tire swing I fell off of and broke my wrist on. The, the blacktop, the basketball hoop. Oh, the boys' bathroom with the floor is covered in piss. Oh, oh God. Come on. Don't fret too much, okay? <sighs> one can't believe everything one hears. After all, one hears some pretty interesting rumors about private home injuries. Oh, yeah. Like, hmm? like what? Oh, <laughs> I better pull up before I say too much. I don't want to dampen the sheets, so to speak. You're a bad girl, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bad, Jim. I'm just drawn that way. Ladies? It's 
Nice. Bye bye. It's not my neither. We uh, were holding for a friend. We found out before. Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> Someone else? I know you're not. Or that we've met before? We've literally gone to school together for six years. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you slimy maggot! Stay away from our kind, you hear? Hurt. No! We weren't even doing any, anything. I, I don't even like her. I don't either. I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. Oh, bring it on, George. I'm not afraid of you. Don't push me. <laughs> no! No!
If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. You know how people got these little habits that get you down? Like Alice here. Alice liked to chew gum. No, not chew. Pop! So I come into homeroom one day and I'm really irritated. And I'm looking for a little bit of sympathy. And then Alice comes sitting at a desk drinking a Capri Sun. No. And chewing fuck, popping her fucking gum. <laughs> and I said to her, I said to her, you pop that gum one more time. And she did. <laughs> so I grabbed the shotgun off the wall and fired off two warning shots into her head. She had it coming. She had it coming. She only had herself to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. I met Adele to see him about two years ago. She told me she was single. She hit it off right away. We started living together. She'd go to work, she'd come home, I'd fix her a drink, we'd have dinner. Then I found out, single, she told me, single my ass. Not only was she in a relationship, oh no, she had six lovers. So that night when she came home, I fixed her drinks, as usual. You know, some gals just can't hold their arsenic. She had it coming. She had it coming. She took a flower in his run. And then she used it. And she abused it. It was a murder, but not a crime. Standing in the cafeteria waiting for my macaroni and cheese. <laughs> and the store with my ex-girlfriend Wilma in a jealous rage. You've been screwing the lunch lady, she said. She was crazy. She kept screaming, you've been fucking the lunch lady. And she ran into my spork. <laughs> she ran into my spork ten times. <laughs> if you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. No habla inglés, lo siento. <laughs> Mi amor, María. <laughs> María, ¿dónde está la biblioteca? <laughs> Albert Tacos. <laughs> la cuña de Anda. Yes. <laughs> María. Muerto. María. Muerto. Uh oh, not guilty. My sister Veronica and I had this double act in the talent show, and my girlfriend Charlene used to ride our coattails for years. And this one night, before the show, we were down at the Hotel Cicero, you know, and we did this acrobatic tricks, a lot of them, one, two, three, four, five, splits, spread eagles, back flips, front flips, one right after the other. <laughs> so back to what I was saying at the Hotel Cicero. <laughs> We were drinking, boozing, you know, having a few laughs. And then we ran out of ice, so I went to get some. I come back to the room, and there's Veronica and Charlene doing number 17, the Spread Eagle. Well, I was in such a state of shock, I almost blacked out. It wasn't until hours later, when I was washing the blood off my hands, I even knew they were dead. She had it coming. She had it coming. She only had herself to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. She had it coming. She had it coming. She took a flower in his pride, and then she used it, and she abused it. It was a murder, but not a crime. I love Sarah Lipschitz more than I could possibly say she was real sensitive, the artistic type, a finger painter, but she loved to doodle in class, and she would always doodle other people's names, like Ruth, Gladys, and yes, even Irving. I guess you could say we broke up because of artistic differences. She saw herself as alive, and I saw her 
Tell me anything. It's just, it's so hard to find a guy these days. I mean, I'm a strong, smart, independent woman whose milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. But these boys, they're just childish. I mean, I know chivalry's dead and all that shit, but is it wrong for me to have high standards? Hi, can you slick? Uh, you're charming, but I wouldn't go as far to call you slick. Oh, no, no, no. no. My name is Slick. I thought your name was Buster. Oh, no, that's my, uh... Why are you talking to Buster? Where's Oh, Daddy, 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 no! I am Buster. <laughs> and Slick. They call me Buster Slick. Huh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I woke up this morning and I'm like, hey, the clock is ticking. I'm 11 years old. Granted, I have maybe another 20, 30 years or so, but still, I'm just ticking. I don't know. Do I sound crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound crazy, no. Okay, no. Cause, cause then I'm thinking, you know, why should my happiness be predicated on whether or not I have a boyfriend? I completely agree. Who needs one? You're right, Buster Slick. <laughs> Fuck boys! No, 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 no. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Having a boyfriend is the best. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. It's a lot of fun. If the right person comes along. Oh, that's the thing, Buster Slick. The right person did come along. Who? Chandler McCormick. He's homeschooled. He writes poetry, <laughs> plays the harmonica, and he's on Disney Channel. Oh. oh, God, he is such a radical. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we went to Canada from Greek K till about a month ago, and we were going to get married and everything. We exchanged ring pops and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know it's old fashioned, but still, it means something, right? Anyway, he left me for someone else. Jenny fucking Bryant from Catholic school. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry if you ever need a shoulder to cry on. Or a slightly different one. Yeah, it has been pretty rough. <laughs> you in the face. <laughs> 
ride, I'll strap you to an electric chair, or lean out the window a little too far. Don't look both ways and get hit by a car. Fall out of a roller coaster. Take a warm bath with a plug in toaster. In short, I hope you die. <laughs> myself. Come on, Jimmy, we both know that's not true. I know you like to pretend like you don't care, but it's all an act. See right through you, Jimmy Masterson. I guess I wish I could see the same things you see, Roxy. <laughs> so, anyway, are you working on a case? <laughs> yeah, a big one. Can you keep a secret? Yeah, my cousin Valerie told me she's gay, and I haven't told a single soul. Great, well, I know <laughs> that someone might be trying to give the playground the big sleep. Me. Yes, destroy the playground. But who? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You don't have any leads, do you? Well, I don't know if my thing has anything to do with your thing, but I hear a name whispered in the hallways, or, or a place, or a thing. Anyway, it is definitely a noun. They call it the hot avocado. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, Roxy, this case is shaping up to be stranger than a non-Latino cast of Anna in the Tropics. <laughs> 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 Why? 
Tell this. me about it, stud. So what are you doing out here? Thinking. About? Nah, it's ridiculous. There's no one around, Sarah. You know, we don't have to pretend right now. Right, yeah, no, it's just, you know, we only have to pretend. I really like being your friend. Yeah, yeah, I know, me too, yeah. You don't. No, it's okay, yeah, I no, I know. <laughs> what Champ and Sweet Colt knew is that they were no longer in like with each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay. They never were. You see, it was all for show. It's expected. It's cliche. The public loves cliche. It's like Brangelina, you know? <laughs> Well, Champ and Sweet Cold were nothing like Brangelina, and anything but cliché. <laughs> so you're going to tell me what you were thinking about? A girl. A girl? What girl? <laughs> Her? Champ, you can't be serious. She's the enemy. I know. I know, but from the first time that I saw her, I fell so hard in life with her, harder than, than a meteor or something. It's forbidden. And that makes me feel all fussy inside. <laughs> Crazy kid. What should I do? What do you want to do? I want to be with her. Then go out and get what you want. I don't know. Don George already knows. If he catches us again, he'll, he'll get all the scooters and pummel the snot out of me. Not to mention what the other barracudas might think. You know, we barely know each other in fifth grade relationships. Rarely last anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Why is it forbidden, though? All this fighting and bullying? I'll never know what it's all for. Yes, it's all we know. I just want to take Annie by the hands and run so far off campus that no one would ever bother us again. Easy now, champ. Everything happens for a reason. Everything is going exactly according to plan. Yeah, I get it.
I know, he knows, I know, we all know, you want to save the frickin' playground. But guess what, Roxy? It ain't gonna happen. Do you know why? <laughs> the playground is never here to stay. It goes away. Either the principal takes it away, or we grow up and we move on. You can hold on to that playground all you want, Roxy, but once that shit's gone, it's gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> See, Roxy, it's like a metaphor for like loss of childhood or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. I see that. I just... I'm not ready to go into the real world yet. It seems so... so big and scary. That's because it is! Big! And scary! But wake the hell up, Roxy! Do I gotta pull your braid, stick my fist up your butt? What do I have to do? Wake <laughs> you up! We're gonna graduate soon! We're gonna... we're gonna be middle schoolers! There are no slides to hide behind. There's no monkey bars, no sandboxes. <laughs> we're going to have real problems with real responsibility. And the sooner you get hip to that, the better off you'll be. Come on, Jimmy. She's right, Roxy. Maybe it's time we all grew up.
can't sit. You're making me dizzy. I'm too unsettled. It's over, George. It's not over. We didn't finish the fight. George, it's over. Yeah, <laughs> the playground's gone for good forever. <laughs> I'm going to beat those barracudas if it's the last thing I do. Hi, Annie. Annie, I'm, I'm really sorry. I wanted to say I'm really, really sorry. What's that? Did you hear something, Buster? <laughs> <laughs> Not a thing. You sleep? Oh, no, just a pathetic sound of a loser blowing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry, Annie. I should have stood up for you, for us. I'm so, so, so sorry. Sorry, she can't hear you. Louder, please. I'm sorry. Still can't hear you. I'm sorry. Be the champ. You can't tell me what to do. It's after school hours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, uh, and we ain't on the playground anymore. You're right. We ain't never going to be on the <laughs> playground no more. <laughs> so I guess we better start taking this few to the streets. And on the streets, there are no rules. Hey guys, come on, back off, he's got no backup, he's playing dirty. You live for playing dirty. Yeah, I don't want to play dirty with him, I want to play nice. Beat it, champ. What was that about? Don't get too worked up. Wait, you got a crush, you want him to be a boyfriend now? I'm gonna walk home. I ain't walking. Who needs ya? Off the playground. There are no rules. George, what are you doing? Get lost, little girl. George, give me the phone. What are you doing? I'm just having some fun. Those barracudas won't even know what hit him. George, you can't say those things about her. They're not true. That's just cruel. Life off the playground is cruel, little girl. This is where I draw the line. This is taking things way too far. I heard that sweet Sarah Colt reads at a first grade level. Hashtag dumb. I had chance to dump sweet Sarah Colt because he found out that she was adopted. Not even her parents loved her. Hashtag pathetic. I heard sweet Sarah Colt has perpetual lice. Hashtag stay far away. <laughs> Sarah, not to ruin your day or anything, but have you checked Twitter lately? I heard sweet Sarah Colt was talking mad smack about the barracudas this morning. Way to stay loyal to your posse, Sarah. Skeet, none of these things are true. Why are they saying all this? I don't know, Sarah. Kids are mean. Society, you know? Hey, did you read <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just read all of it. Why don't we do it? It won't stop. Well, there's nothing we really can do. Well, you guys believe any of it? Yeah, maybe it's like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I heard sweet Sarah Cole cheats on all of the map tests. I heard sweet Sarah Cole shoplifts. Stop it, stop. I heard sweet Sarah Colt is a big, nasty slut. Now, folks, I know that word might not be alarming to your ears. Remember, this show takes place on a playground, all right? It's about fifth graders, and uh, that word stings harder than you could possibly remember. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, they're just bullies. Don't listen to them. Ski, what are you even doing in the girls' bathroom? Destroy the gender binary. <laughs> <laughs> you know that I had nothing to do with those awful things those people were saying. I tried to stop them, but no one would listen. I can imagine how awful you must feel. 
can't go anywhere at school without people staring and pointing and laughing at me. I'm, I'm so embarrassed, I can't even face my own friends. Well, I don't believe any of those things those people were saying. I believe you. Why? I don't know. I trust you. You're a sweet girl, Sarah. Why'd you do that? I don't know. You want to do it again? <laughs> yeah.
Because you love us. Me? Us? Him? Who do you love? And how did you know there are two of us? I always knew. I was just fucking with the both of you. (laughs) (laughs) So, three of us going to make out now or what? sharpen my, uh, shoe. <laughs> hey, Roxy. Uh, how's it going? Jimmy Masterson. A wolf in sheep's pajamas if I ever saw one. <laughs> so, you're, uh, you're, you're on student council now. Yeah. You were right, Jimmy. We can't change anything, so I decided to join an institution where I would be guaranteed to make absolutely no impact whatsoever. <laughs> government. <laughs> Look, Roxy, I just, I, uh, I just want to say I'm sorry. I don't expect you to forgive me, but... I, I, I want to, though. I mean, I'd like us to be friends. So, how's Vicky? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's, uh, <laughs> Yeah. 
inside myself, but on the outside, I look good. Then we met, and you made me the man I am today. Roxy, I'm in love with you. No matter whose jurisdiction you obey, because without love, life is like the seasons with no summer. Without love, life is rock and roll without a drummer. Roxy, I'll be your surrender.
but I like literally hate all of you. <laughs> like, literally. You guys suck. <laughs> so great. Annie and Sweet Cold Kiss, that's great. Love Fest is over now. George, what the fuck are we even fighting over? There's no playground left to fight over. Yes! But now we have a library to battle over. <laughs> and these shelves, these shelves right here, <laughs> these are Scooter bookshelves. That's where all the Harry Potter books are. <laughs> and I'm not going to be on some wait list so that you barracuda scum can spend three goddamn months reading the picture of fucking ass command. <laughs> chance found a bubble in my fears and there I stood nicely passing out the whiskey but the passengers were bound to resist for the people all said beware you're on a heavenly trip for the people all said beware Beware your scuttle ship And the devil will drag you under With a fancy tie round your wicked neck Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down Sit down, you're rocking the boat And as I left At the passengers to heaven <laughs> A great big wave came and washed me overboard And as he sank And he hollered I woke up. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. <laughs> and I said to myself, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. I said to myself, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. Everybody! And the devil will drag you under. By the devil will drag you under.
We're all responsible in our own way for the playground being taken away, but we can still get it back, okay? I didn't used to think that way. I used to only look out for myself. I used to think we couldn't change the world, but then I met a wonderful little girl who changed all that. Sway back there, say hi, Roxy. And now I see it. We don't have to take Bridgeville Strickland's abuse. We can fight back. But, but we would get in a lot of trouble, Jimmy. So what? I mean, we'd have to break the rules and stuff. Pshaw. Mitchell, who breaks all the rules and laws and sets his ghost against his conscience and who willingly accepts the penalty or imprisonment in order to arouse the consciousness of the community over its new justice is in reality expressing the highest respect for the law. Yeah, what she said. Well, maybe we could stick gum underneath this chair. Yeah. yeah. Or we could tell our parents. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's yeah. stick a little bigger here. <laughs> what if we write a mean note that call the mean names like, like, like dummy and poop face? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that, but also write up some clearly stated grievances. There we go. <laughs> now. <laughs> ends than a plate of wet spaghetti. <laughs> but uh, let's see. The principal left. Uh, the revolt worked. And uh, he, he, you know, he didn't stand a chance against an onslaught of chewing gum, naughty notes, and angry parent letters. Uh, a few days later, when he was driving home, he actually did die in a horrific car accident. <laughs> and though the police suspect foul play, they have absolutely no leads. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, 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 Babe and Skeet ended up together, right? Crazy, I know, right? It's so random. Uh, and Don George and Peggy, pretty cute couple. And as for me, well, like the rest of us, we all graduated from Wildwood Elementary. Our playground days were over. But as long as there is injustice in the world, a dame in distress and a hot avocado on the loose, there will always be a place in the world for Jimmy Masterson. Private hall monitor. <laughs> 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 Oh, that was hilarious. 